it's a lot of young men and young women that needs mentors to help them, guide them through this life that we have. And you will see changes in these young people because they have someone to talk to and they're not holding all of this uh, negative energy inside. Hello, my name is Jerry Griffiths. Now, I remember I was raised by a single parent in the city of Chicago, Illinois, in some of the roughest time uh, in our country history, which was the 60s, the early 60s. And I had a police go to my mother and say, you know, we want to make him a junior police. And that stuck with me because they gave me a job. I had a job cleaning up the police station and the gym where they went and boxed, you know, the boxing gym. And you know what, they kept me off the streets. My name is Emmanuel Franklin. How long were you behind bars? And if you can tell us a little bit about how it felt on the day of your release. Being to where you don't have the freedom to do what you want and go where you want and uh, being stuck in one place. <clears throat> it, you know, like I don't wish that on no man. You know, it feels like that, that one week felt like months, you know? That feeling is everything. I mean, I mean, it, it almost changes, like it just changes the way you think too. It's just like, uh, you just know, you know you're getting out. So it's like, your, yeah. your mood's a lot better. Don't feel like you're really in there because you're on your way out. <laughs> okay. Is you're just looking at stuff different. It sounds easy. Yeah. You get out, jail or whatever situation, and you hit the streets to try to figure out what you're gonna do next. Mm -hmm. And then you run into someone who says, meet this one, and then you go through something and graduate. That sounds pretty easy. There are struggles as there is struggles in everything that you do. Yeah. Um, transportation, uh, but you know, I made a way. Mm -hmm. Now that I have the know-how, like whenever my, you, my situation financially gets you know better, um, I want to invest in, you know, some, some things like, you know, maybe a shop and, you know, I know all the equipment to get now, you know, the pressure washer, what type of buffer pads, what type of machine you got to get, what type of, you know, chemicals and stuff, like all that's installed in here okay. now. So okay. I'm just, you know, that's off to the side yeah. until I'm yeah. ready to, you know, to make that happen until I have the tools I need to make that happen. My name is Brandon Harris. Uh, I am a recipient of Jerry Griffith's Twin Cities Trade School. My process started uh, actually um, about five months ago. A uh, young man growing up in um, Chicago, Illinois, without any guidance, uh, especially now, you know, uh, with current situations that's going down in Chicago is it's hard to find any type of leadership or guidance. Where I was working in White Bear Lake, um, the class was literally 10 steps away. Uh, and I, I, I said it was a blessing in disguise because honestly, everything lined up just so it can work out for me. As the process began, uh, I retained more information about uh, mechanical work, um, automotive work, um, detailing. Uh, uh, I've learned how to fix brakes. I learned how to uh, change oils. I've learned how to uh, replace rotors. Uh, a lot of small and simple basic mechanics that, that uh, anybody can learn. You know, and, 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 and I, I, I was kicking myself because I said this, I had a car that I, like, I had to give up and it had the basic repairs that I just learned from Mr. Griffiths. And I'm like, if I would have kept my car, <laughs> I would have had my skills to, to fix my own car. After I completed the course, after I completed it, um, the graduation ceremony was great. He held a great graduation for us. Um, at the same time, even when we were leaving, he still made us feel like we're, we're, we're part of him, you know? And he want us, wanted us to feel accomplished, accomplished of ourselves. After the graduation, I had mechanical experience. 
uh, right after that, I updated, I updated my uh, resume from a new uh, job experience, from a new background, and immediately uh, it was a big change. I have employers contacting me to work at their companies. When I, before five months ago, six months ago, I was desperately put in my application just for them to call me back. Where now I'm turning down employers because they're too many, <laughs> it's too many. I'm glad you're moving forward and making things happen. And when you move and you think with that type of determination, that focus, doors just open automatically and it seems easy but it's not. it's not you went through it it was more than a storm but at least you can say that that dark cloud is over with yes and it wouldn't make any sense to go back to it so keep moving forward you're doing a great thing and we're looking forward to seeing you do greater things Sir, thanks for stopping forward. by always forward never backwards Basically, when a young man uh, joins my program, um, I take him through an orientation. He sit down and talk with me, and I need to find out where his head's at so that I can find out and, and figure out where he needs to be placed in the program. Uh, joining my program is really simple. Uh, my website is jlgtcs.org, once again, is jlgtcs.org. If you go to that website, it's a place where that you can email me. Once you email me, someone in my organization will get back to you and set up a appointment, and then we will talk and see if my program would benefit uh, the individual. I have talked to retired technicians who have worked years in the auto union and have said, look, you know, I have a program that I have young men that I want you to mentor and train in light duty mechanical technician work. They're retired. They're not sitting at home wasting the talent that they have had over the years. And they're able to see young people that are able to use that talent to carry on in their life. So it's fulfilling. And I think that's what we need in life, that through my music and art program, I would like to even have them um, in the seventh, eighth, and ninth grade, go through my art program, which is recording arts and performing arts. All right, my name is Jerry Griffiths. Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak at all? 